shy in front of the camera. 100. And he's certainly showing that he's not. No score. No, well, that could just let Connor Scott back in because Ashley Colmer goes back to the ton. There's plenty of work there to do, which just sort of undoes 60. that really big power Ashley scoring Wild that he had at 100. the start of the leg here looking to try and break the scut throw but again two darts at the double and this time leg. makes no Ashley mistake lines right at 16. the end coleman returns game shot on a sick leg that Ashley was a fantastic coleman. dart that just looked like could have got a little bit tricky with the way that the Ashley coleman darts just Seven laying over final to the leg. side well, then he used it two. and suddenly it goes from coleman being under pressure so that pressure now being piled on Scott. 90. Ashley you require well, 139. Three match from Connor Scott. You feel that Ashley's going to get some of his own. And it's probably going to be at the same target unless Connor can land the big haymaker. 56. Ashley you require 40. Double five. Well, we saw 30. Scott miss three clear darts. You require 104. In the previous leg, now Coleman's done the same. Needs a treble to get another one. He won't. Actually, Coleman, another handful of darts to get 52. the job done. Actually, you require. Connor said he knows Coleman can throw some decent darts. Both players have done that in this match. Yeah, but it is Ashley, Ashley who gets the victory in the opening game against the favourite, Connor Scott, who for some reason has just struggled here at the Moda Super Series this year. And it's a losing start for the man expected to win this group and indeed win this week. Coleman takes the honours in that one. Both players with struggles on the outer ring in the game. Nine darts missed by Scott, 15 by Coleman, but he got the all-important four. Scott could only manage three and two points in the pocket of the Prince of Darkness, who wins the open at game two coming next. Colin Osborne is back and he takes on a debutant in Stephen Jameson. Feels there's still work to be done and more to be won. But this could be won if Colin Osborne can find tops. 90. Not quite, but he's still in very good shape. Jameson has struggled through his debut match. 97. Colin, you require 20. Colin Osborne has capitalised. Hit double five already. Hits Eight it shot. again. And the match. And that's a Colin very Osborne. comfortable Colin Osborne victory. 4-1 success. Stephen Jameson immediately given a harsh introduction to life at the Motor Super Series. Coming through the ADC qualifiers, running straight into a really experienced ace in Osborne who wins it 4-1. Didn't really have to change gear in the game. Jameson will have to improve if he is going to look to do what Adam Paxton did last week. Coming next, then, it's the second debutant in this group, Ricardo Ham. He takes on Kat DeVos. Ricardo, you require Opportunity for Ham. 34. 74 remaining. That becomes 32, and that is a fantastic Game finish. Game fifth leg, Ricardo Ham. Now the top draw, so tops to do just that. Game shot, and the match. And DeVos does DeVos. cross the line. A 4-2 success over the debutant, Ricardo Ham, who had that highlight of the 1-3-4 checkout, but it was DeVos who got the victory in that one. Decent enough performance from him. 86 average, plenty to work with there and to build on. But most important, he picks up the points. The Belgian with a 4-2 success, joining Colin Osborne and Ashley Coleman in the winner's enclosure. And that pair go head-to-head -head next. Game shot on a second leg. Exactly like that. Osborne. Nice little two data. Confidence builders, those sort of finishers. Ashley, you require 32. Can Coleman move ahead? He can. Game shot on a fifth leg. Good Ashley game, Coleman. this. Really decent stuff. Both players averaging north of 90, but may have to take this. Coleman waiting on a very makeable finish, a, a better one than the one that Osborne's faced with. He needs treble 18 for a go at the bullseye. Oh, that game is beautiful. May have needed Colin to take Osborne. it, and take it he did. The only saving grace for Coleman is Osborne 
being so far behind. 130. What a sensational leg this is. 12 darts thrown in a 3-3 situation. Dominant on the throw for Coleman. He's just a dart away. But he's going to have six to do Ashley it. Required 32. Can Coleman make it two from two? 16. Well, not yet, but he will get three more darts at least. Colin Osborne's going to be leaving something handy. One hundred to a two data. Actually, requires sixteen. Yeah, sure. But and the Coleman match, claims Ashley it. Ashley Coleman. A classic Super Series showdown that was, and it's won by Ashley Coleman. Who sees off Colin Osborne in a last leg decider and a fantastic last leg it was. It took him five darts across the line in that last leg. But his scoring just left the wizard in his way. Two ton plus checkouts for Osborne, including that skin saving one, two, four, but it only delayed the defeat. His first of the day. Coleman is perfect from his two matches and he's looking in good shape to have a very, very strong start to Group A. Coming next then. Gert DeVos, who also has a win to his name, he is going to take on the group favourite in Connor Scott. Leave from Only DeVos. Require 150. Is he going to stay there? There is an ocean of space in that target. Double 15. That is it's fantastic from Connor Scott. Connor Scott. Utilised the marker, took out an enormous finish, and he's turned this game Sixth on its leg. head. He gets two. But only and needs match. one, and Connor that is Scott. a real spell of class from Connor Scott, who turned the game around, getting ahead when it looked like he was about to go behind at 3-2. DeVos was waiting on a double after a fantastic setup shot when Scott took out that brilliant 150, and then he goes on to land a 14 dart leg on throw to win the game 4-2 with an average of 98 showing why he's favourite for this group he recovers from the early setback and picks up his first points of the week coming next two players also trying to do that the debutants duel as Jameson takes on Ham double top 46 Stephen you require 58 And Jameson and the finds Jameson. the target that Ham couldn't and gets the victory. But it was a war of attrition that game. Before, but as we mentioned in the last game between Ham and Jameson, that sometimes it just takes a little bit of time to settle in, to feel comfortable, to play the darts you know you're capable of. And this, once again, a bright start from Coleman. Five big power trebles in his opening six starts. Yeah, I have to say, this is the best I've seen him so far here at the Super Series. I know he's only won his games by the odd leg, but he's played well in both of them. 60. His average, actually, across his two previous appearances has been about 83, so he is outperforming that so far today. 100. Ashley require 121. Brilliant stuff. Game shot of first leg. Brilliant stuff. I've no Coleman. need to go that route, but he's found two trebles and a double. You people Ashley need Jimmy Van Ski. A massively developing player, but Ashley Coleman, the bullseye to get the job done. 145. Gert, you require 100. To force a third decider of the day for Coleman. 90. Maybe this time Ashley he can get it done a little earlier. 25. Game shot and the and match. Coleman. Ashley Coleman. Seal the hat trick. A 4 2 success for Ashley Coleman, who is on the march here at the Moda Super Series. A 4 2 win against Kurt Divorce, who well, played okay in that game, but Coleman was just too good. A 1 2 1 checkout in there for him. An average north of 90 for the man who was starting to. Move clear at the top of the table. Four points clear of Colin Osborne in second. But Osborne can close that gap next when he takes on Ricardo Hamm.
Because that Ricardo double was require 92. for Colin Osborne to hit. And Ham may take full advantage. Game shot on the fourth flag. Absolutely Ham. beautiful. Very, very good. In this game, a real contrast to what we saw in the previous match when it was Ricardo disastrous. This has 40. been prize Ham. Twenty, but he's off target there, and that Colin, could be that. Sixty-six. Fifty-four leaves twelve. Game shot. That leaves nothing. And, match, Colin and Colin Osborne gets the win. A four-two win to move on to four points, two off the top. The wizard with victory against a much improved Ricardo Ham. That has to be said. Credit to him, but still no points. For the Dutchman, an 84 average, sticking 20 points on from the previous game. Two out of seven on the doubles. Did get the chance as well to make that 3-3. But Osborne crosses the line with that 66 checkout. Doubles his points tally for the day. Two out of three for him. And Connor Scott is looking for the same outcome when he takes on Stephen Jameson. Connor, you require 81. He could have got the ball out of the way at the start. Now he has to end with it. Game but he does end with flag. it. Sneaks Connor in Scott. and opens up. Connor, you require 40. That's just his normal state. Game shot and the match. And that is normal service resumed for Connor Scott. A 4-1 win against Stephen Jameson, who does have a win to his name, but could only get one go at a double in that match Connor Scott just debriefing with the referee Jack Garwood after that form when he did hit the only attempt he had at a double in the game did Jameson but Connor Scott got four out of his ten attempts and that takes his points tally to four level with Colin Osborne in second place and the wizard is back on the hockey next he's going to take on Gert Divos cool but some are more equal than others Tops here for Osborne to turn it around totally. Game shot on and he the does that. Flag. Three Colin two. Osborne. Game Colin shot Osborne and the seals match. the deal Colin Osborne. on top. He was two 0 down. He could have been three 0 down, but he battled hard. He battled back and picks up a hard-earned victory over Gert De Vos. That victory for Colin Osborne, his third of the day. He's already on to six points and he's raising the levels. An average of 94.11 there to get the job done. But coming up next, a man who's been getting the job done all day, Ashley Coleman, takes on Stephen Jameson. Ashley, you require 40. Game shot on a Make that three of the four. Ashley Coleman. An outside chance Stephen, for Jameson. You require 160. Game what a finish from Stephen Jameson. Jameson. Ashley Coleman again fluffing his lines, missing the opportunity, and Stephen Jameson steps in. Two tens to finally get Game the job done, and, and Coleman does Ashley collect Coleman. another win. The 160 standout from Jameson was the highlight of the match, but it is another victory for Ashley Coleman, who remains unbeaten in his first four games this week. A 4-2 success on that occasion, an average again just around that 90 mark, and that's with 13 missed starts at double as well. So he's performing really well, Ashley Coleman. Good value for the eight points he's got. Can he go through the card? We'll find out when he takes on Ricardo Ham in his final game of the day. And Ham is up next against Connor Scott. 160. Missed tops for this earlier in the game, did Ham? Another go. That's as close as he gets this time. 140. The worrying sign here was how attack. low Connor Scott was on that tops. And the no match. trouble there Connor in the end. Scott. Connor Scott gets over the line. He wasn't as impressed with that performance as he was earlier on, but the points are what counts, and that could be vital come Wednesday. It was a slow start to the day. He lost his opening game, but a hat-trick of victories now for Connor Scott have got him up and on his way. That completes the fourth cycle of fixtures. We've got one more lap to go. Stephen Jameson will open that up against Gert de Vos. Gert, you require 100. 
Great leg. Game shot on the fifth leg. And that Gert was the moment that the match tipped from Gert DeVos. 40. Losses to Coleman, Osborne and Scott. A victory against Ham. And Game a victory the against Stephen Gert Jameson. DeVos. So four points for Gert DeVos on his return to the Super Series. Jameson ends the day with just one win to his name. But the ADC qualifier did improve as the day went on. As for DeVos, while well, the finishing was superb in that one, a nice 100 checkout, four out of six on the doubles, and four points to keep himself in contention for a top three finish come Wednesday in Group A. But now it's about the players in second and third place as Connor Scott and Colin Osborne look to break the deadlock between them. You require 117. And the Game sniper the executes that Connor out shot expertly. 70. Colin, you require 140. Well, this has been an impressive performance from Connor Scott in a game 45. in which Colin Osborne never really Connor, got going, but for that 20. nice 88 checkout. But he will get another look. No score. That's the way Colin, to bust, isn't it? 95. Osborne may start on that target. Not going the more traditional route nowadays, the 19s. No double double. Connor Scott. 79. In the day. Connor, you with a win. 20. For four in a row. Game Lost out to Ashley Coleman Connor in his Scott. first game, but has won four on the bounce since, including an impressive 4 1 thrashing. A former grand finalist, Colin Osborne, an average once again north of 90. Four out of 10 on the doubles and 117 checkout in there as well. A good day's work for Connor Scott, who right now is top of the table on leg difference. But if Ashley Coleman can complete a perfect day, he will replace him. He takes on Ricardo Ham in the final game after the break. Ashley, you require 130. Well, we see another touch of Coleman class here. He's going to get a go. At tops. Oh, it's Game brilliant. Shot on a fifth leg. Ashley back Coleman. to back combos for Coleman. One hundred and eight. Perfect way to start off the leg. Looking to attack the Ricardo Ham throw. Something Ricardo Ham's not been able to do yet. He's hold on to his throw. That's perfect as well. Can Coleman finish a perfect day with a perfect leg? Murph, we may be about to go viral. 100. Ashley, you require 141. It's on. Oh, close. So close. I think even he was thinking about the clicks. 109. But he couldn't quite click Ricardo, against the wire. 167. And he may not win the leg. Oh, probably now will win the match. For the perfect day. What a perfect ending. It would be a possible 10 data here for Ashley 32. Coleman. Double 16. Game shot and the match. Not the Ashley nine, Coleman. but pretty much a perfect 10. And certainly the perfect day as Coleman claims all five from five matches. Ashley Coleman gets five victories. And the perfect tally of 10 points. Seal with a 10 dart leg. 113 checkout in there. That was maybe the tide turner in that game. Ham produced what was probably his best performance of the day. But he couldn't do what nobody could do. That was defeat Ashley Coleman, who on day one is top of the table. And we are going to have a chat with him after this short break. Well, as promised, we're going to have a chat with the man of the moment. A perfect day for Ashley Coleman. Ashley, congratulations, uh, a really good start. Um, is that the best you've, you've felt up there on this stage here at the Super Series? Yeah, I felt a lot stronger this time because it's my third attempt at trying the series. And I think I've settled into the stage now. Decent group, some good rivals in there, the likes of Connor Scott, who was favourite. Colin Osborne has reached a grand final before, so to go through the card today, you must be pretty proud of that. Yeah, well chuffed. Hopefully I can match it again tomorrow, so... Let's see what we can do this week. Matthew Egg has been watching the action alongside me. What have you learnt about Ashley today? Bottle. 
absolute bottle. There were so many times that they big questions that was asked. Certainly in that last game when started missing doubles, it's so easy when you're missing doubles to get caught up in that story. They're not going. My scoring's good. You break the game down into mini sections. And then the way you finish the game there, absolutely fantastic. The 72 finish, I would say, was bigger than the 113. The 113 felt it had a bit more time. The 72 was to save the game. Ricardo Ham, 50 points away from being 3-1 up. And he took it out in two. So some real bottle and quality. Yeah, and it was almost the perfect end to the perfect day as well, wasn't there? When were you thinking about the possibility of having what would, of course, have been a viral nine-dart finish? Well, when I, I hit the first treble 20 to leave the the 81, I thought, here we go, this is going. <laughs> and then, of course, I dropped just underneath. So, But it's quality to be able to perform like that on that stage now. Yeah, we're just taking a look at that, that moment now. First 180 goes in. Um, do you start thinking about it after the first 180? I mean, the, the fourth dart, I said in comms, that looks perfect to follow. In this moment, when you're walking back, one four, one left, what's going through your mind? I'm thinking, just hit it. Don't worry about it, just hit it. Yeah, and then the first start does go in, treble 19 required, and then the moment just disappears, your reaction. But to come back, Matt, and, and make it a 10 dart leg, just showed exactly what you've been talking about. He's been very effective and efficient today. I think one of the real things I've noticed with Ash today is his ability just to disconnect from the moment and the game. We're describing the moments, we're trying to paint the picture, but Ashley doesn't need to do that. He just needs to throw the darts that are in his hand. And he's been very good at disconnecting himself from the context of the moment and just doing what needs to be done. Yes, that was on for a nine data, but the second that was done, it was, well, actually, the most important thing here is the perfect day. It's winning the game. It's hitting the double that's in front. And I've never once believed that a player goes to the board and just thinks three darts at a time until today. I see that in Ash, and it's a real good strength. Just talking a bit more generally, Ash, what was... Playing at the Moda Super Series, as you say, it's your third time here now. What has it done for you as a darts player? Well, it's improved my ability in in a shorter format because I've, I've played all different formats over the years but never really focused in on the professional side of the darts. And now it's making my challenge tours easier, local comps easier. I'm going into comps now and I feel like I'm going to win them instead of feeling like oh, I might get through a few rounds. So it's improving the darts and it's also getting the exposure to play these amazing players that haven't got the credit they deserve. And the experience of playing those players on a stage in front of the cameras and the bright lights, you must feel ready when that opportunity does come again to play it on a big stage that you'll be as best prepared as possible for it. Well, yeah, it makes me feel like I'm going to go on to maybe the PDC stage and go, I'm going to win this today and no one's going to touch me. Just a quick word, Matt, on, on the other players in the group. Um, Connor Scott, after losing to Ash in an early game, he's won his remaining matches after that. Colin Osborne in the mix as well. Who does Ash have to, to watch out for for the next couple of days? Uh, I said it at the start of the day, and I'm going to stick with it. I've not seen anything to suggest me otherwise that Connor Scott is the man to beat in this group. He was the favourite at the start. Quality player, quality operator. He's winning tournaments left, right and centre. He's got reputation, he's got ambition. I think he's going to go very far. He's going to be there on Saturday. How he gets there, whether it's this group or Group B, he'll be there on Saturday and he'll be battling it out for sure. Well, let's have a look at the table, see how the land lies after the opening day of action. Ashley Coleman, of course, top with that perfect day, 10 points, scut behind, and every player following with a, a two-point gap between them all. Ricardo Ham yet to get off the mark, um, but we did see himself and Stevie Jameson just start to settle in a little bit as the day went on. Yeah, I think they could probably... People dismissed them very quickly after they took each other on in game number two. And if you remember back when we saw that game, I said this could be an awkward game for the pair because they'll both feel it's an opportunity. They'll both feel in the same situation. And it did. It really did bog the pair down, but they got better after that. The problem was everyone raised their game against. I think Gert DeVos is currently sat on four points. I think he may feel a bit hard done by today. I think he played a lot better than that suggests. And I think tomorrow is going to be a day we see Gert DeVos pick up a few more wins. Ash, we spoke about the end of the day for you. Do you think those victories, those two, four, three wins against Connor and Colin at the start of the day were what really set you up for, for what you've done today? I think they were the most important games of the day because it, getting Connor early is always a bonus when he's the favourite of the group. So you get to knock him down a bit. Also helps you because you lift you. But I think it doesn't matter what the draw was. I think if I'd gone up there and played him later on, it would have been a good game. 
he probably might have won, I might have won. We don't know, but on to tomorrow, and hopefully I can do the same again. Well, the fixtures are going to be reversed tomorrow, so you'll play Connor Scott in the very last game of the day. Uh, there's a chance that you could both be on massive unbeaten runs going into that. Is that the intention now? Well, yeah. I also spoke to some of your colleagues earlier in the week, and I was like, I want to do what no one's done in here, and that's do 15 out of 15. So... Undetermined. So we'll see how we go. There we go. The gauntlet is laid down. Congratulations today. We'll see if you can repeat it tomorrow. Matthew, we'll see you tomorrow as well. And we hope to see you tomorrow for another day of Super Series action. It gets underway from 9.30 a.m. here on the Motor Super Series YouTube channel when we will see if Coleman can go through the card once again. We'll see you then.